Spacebound presents 10 YouTubers who were arrested. It's a pretty normal thing when people get arrested these days, but it's very hard to imagine how a video creator could get arrested. But thanks to the internet and YouTube, people have found ways to get some pretty interesting ways in prison. Some of them are as follows. Okay, welcome everyone to another Pokemon- Oh my goodness. Number 10, Jordan Mathewson. In recent times, the SWAT police force in the US has been receiving hoax calls pertaining to channel owners. In one such incident, the runner of Counter-Strike YouTube channel, The Creatures, Jordan Mathewson, was confronted by SWAT in a total raiding formation and grounded with a bunch of firearms pointed at him. The whole video later went online with Jordan Mathewson being handcuffed with guns pointed at him. Later on, it was revealed that it was just all a hoax call and that the caller was anonymous. The caller had allegedly given the police information that he was in control of the stronghold and had shot two of the workers already and was threatening to shoot the rest of them. Number 9, Steven Fernandez. Alright, we're on the skate park and we're about to give out free pizza. It has been recently found out that YouTube star having 700,000 subscribers to his channel is allegedly involved in sexual escapades, which he deals with offering money accused of using his fame to sexually exploit a 12-year-old girl. Police say Stephen- More recently, Stephen was accused of raping a 12-year-old girl, who we've offered money in return for certain services he required. According to the girl, Stephen promised her fame alongside meeting with celebrities and other kinds of wondrous surprises which anyone could ever dream of in return for sexual acts. It has also been found that this isn't the first time for this for Stephen. It has been going on for quite a while apparently, even some videos are also on the air which Steven is catcalling and asking girls for his personal sexual needs. Kisses. Alright, so today's video I'm going to show you guys how to remove your makeup. Number 8, Nina Santiago. The mildly successful channel holder on YouTube, Nina Santiago, recently pointed a gun at her husband who called the cops on her. All this resulted in a huge drama that the whole street, hang on, not just the whole street, but the whole world could see because Nina had not only shot the process with a video camera, but also commented on her husband. I ain't even gonna lie. I stood over him <laughs> with a 357 and I put the gun in his mouth. Nina Santiago, whose real name is Denise, was actually taken into custody Wednesday after police was called to investigate a domestic violence related incident, according to an arrest report. The cops were called because the husband had reported being shoved into a wall with a gun to his face. Her apartment was actually closed off and the whole building was watched in the suspense and drama. In the video titled The Truth, Are You Happy Now, that she posted later on, Nina directly addressed her ex-husband Greenwood and said that, I want to thank you for trying to ruin my entire life, and I want to thank you for trying to take Maximus away from me. The last thing that you know I have that would ever love me unconditionally. Nina Santiago has around 150,000 subscribers on her exotic dancing channel on YouTube. One glass mask dabs. In this video, I'm about to take some dabs off of these glass masks. Number 7, Joel Haradecki. Joel is one of the YouTubers who is famous for just sitting on his couch and smoking all kinds of weed all day. But why was he arrested? This is actually very interesting. On one of his trips to an abandoned bridge in Shelton, Washington, one of his friends paid no heed to trespassing signs and also smoked weed while playing around on the bridge there. Joel could have easily pretended and said that it was a fake video, but he didn't, because the only thing that really got him in this is that he left his car in the frame of the video, which gave the police his license plate number. This helped the police tracing all that back to his couch. The cops are using the video for legal purposes. According to them, the social media guy was knowingly breaking the law because there were tons of quote unquote no trespassing signs posted around the area. Number 6, White Boy 7 Street. Why do you, my cat doesn't appreciate me vlogging in front of her. Welcome to episode... White Boy 7 Street aka Alexander is a YouTuber who streams games. He was the target of a quote-unquote swatting when it was falsely reported that he was both armed and suicidal. Cops arrived at his house to find out that he wasn't a threat, however, they did happen to find 30 grams of marijuana. And I'm going to talk about the, the whole situation that happened with me, me going to jail. Alex and his housemate were subsequently charged with possession of marijuana with intent to deliver and was earmarked as a felony. However, the Chicago Tribune reported that the police dropped the charges when they realized that given the circumstances on the discovery of weed, there was a pretty good chance that the evidence might not have survived a motion to suppress. Number 5, Kenneth Francis. It's certainly a crime when you get online and offer to buy guns for convicted felons. Kenneth was actually arrested by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives ATF, for this sole reason. The video titled Need Help Getting a Gun features Francis speaking to his fellow Americans about how he wants each and every one of them to get a hold of the guns. Moreover, he also uses a delivery service which whereby he actually delivers the gun to the requested place, as if it were a delivery pizza. Now, I still think that child pornography should be legal. 
Number four, Amos Yi. All the way from Singapore, Amos Yi, the 16-year-old YouTuber, was actually arrested by the police because of his wayward remarks about the late national leader, the Ri Kuang Yu. He's known for. Whoa, 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 don't talk bad about your government, ah. In July, Amos was released from prison after 53 days, having been convicted on charges of obscenity. He went along and called the 30-year serving leader as a horrible person and stated that who cares if the fucking guy is dead. Apart from that, Amos Yi also has been defaming Ri Kuang Yu in other ways, such as posting his explicit pictures artistically drawn with Margaret Thatcher. This is annoying. It's yeah, so your biggest fan. Can I please uh, yeah, yeah. Hold, on, hold on one sec. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Number three, Vitaly ZDTV. Vitaly's a just Vitaly's a Vitaly, or known by his YouTube name, Vitaly ZDTV, is a Russian YouTube star who is big for doing public pranks. He's been arrested numerous times, but most popularly for his terrorist bomb pranks and also streaking at the World Cup and NBA Finals. With now over 9 million subscribers and a billion viewers, I guess it was all worth it. What the fuck was his last name? I was too numb to be scared. Uh, but really when I found out that number two Shazane Kazim who would go to prison on a parody skit for YouTube That's exactly what happened to Shazane being 30 is now facing difficulties in getting a job after his arrest It had all been due to a video that Kazim posted on YouTube in which he and his friends were joking around The video called ultimate combat system the deadly Satwa G's is set in the Satwa district of Dubai It is a documentary style clip that pokes fun at Dubai youth who style themselves gangsters But are not particularly thuggish and also shows fictional combat training that includes throwing a sandal and using mobile phones to call for help It opens with a text saying the video is fictional and is not meant to offend anyone Now it's time for titty trick shots And finally number one Stevo. Having 3 million subscribers on YouTube, Steve-O was arrested for climbing on a crane and setting loose some really cool fireworks. That concludes Spacebound's 10 YouTubers who were arrested. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Also, my Twitter's gonna be on screen right now, so if you want to tweet some ideas that we might use in the future, go ahead and do so, or just to keep in contact. Got it. Go ahead and check out our other channels while you have the chance. Thank you, and have yourselves an amazing day.